My dad always farmed and I just helped a lot. I was the only boy of five of us, four sisters, and, and he had a used machinery business and I, I was a right hand man, I guess. I just carried the tradition on. Instead of the machinery business, I guess we do custom farming. And I grew up on a beef, dairy, hog um, crop farm um, since from little on. And um, I loved every minute of it. Um, I always drove the tractor, the skid loader, the did the chores, baled hay, straw, you name it. It had to be done. I was kind of dad's right hand girl until uh, my brothers came along. So the love of farming has been instilled you know, t since we've been young. And when we lived in town and we had the farm at West Union, we both longed to be, have our own place that we could be there day and night and the, be able to share that with our kids and bring them up in the manner in which we grew up in. We wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for our family and our friends. And um, we have a couple special um, people that help us a lot um, that have grown up through the years with us. And with the custom work, it takes a lot of hours and a lot of manpower in the fall and spring. And, and it wasn't for the boys, you know, they work jobs too. And the if they didn't spend long nights out here, it never happened. Our biggest challenge in the last year or so is the weather, the, the rain. You fight just about everything you do, but and you really, you got to really love it to keep going. I tell you that. It's a tough business to be in, but it's, uh, it's also a great love to have. You hope someday that uh, the kids take over and um, that you help give them the stepping stones for them to, you know, keep going and establish their future and their kids' futures. You know, everybody needs to have that second income, unfortunately, to help sustain their farming practices. The way the family farm is slowly fading, that's hard to see. You do what you love and um, you find a way to make it work.